Hi everyone, it's Justin and Sasha, and we are at Universal Studios Hollywood. We are so excited to take you around Super Nintendo World as well as the rest of the park. We will try some food and treats at Jurassic Cafe and Three Broomsticks. Come with us on this adventure. Let's go! Guys, here we are at Universal Studios Hollywood. We're so excited to take you around. We're at the lower lot now, and so we are gonna take you to Nintendo World, to Jurassic World, and the Mummy Land. Come on. Before entering the land, be sure to check out Peach's Castle, where the paintings depict the story of Super Nintendo World. The story goes, Bowser Jr. has stolen three golden keys from the Mushroom Kingdom and visitors need to take them back in order to unlock the final boss battle with Bowser Jr. You can also find the characters sprinkled throughout the land. And don't forget to check out the little details around the land, such as the binoculars. The land doesn't have too much shade, so these mushrooms are probably one of the best places to sit, if not inside. The Toadstool Cafe is also a really popular restaurant, so I highly suggest booking it as early as possible when you arrive. When you enter the Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge ride, you will enter the main line. But if you have any accessibility need, the cast member will lead you to the left of the entrance of the line and you can use the elevator for your accessibility needs. The elevator can help you get to the second level and you will be able to rejoin the line. Hi everyone, here we are at Jurassic World, but I brought a little bit of Nintendo here with us. <laughs> you kept it on? So with the hat, it's, we're in Jurassic World, but then a little bit of Nintendo, we got a little dinosaur here. Yoshi! Kawaii! So we got the moho pork. Jurassic Cafe. And then we also got beef, beef empanadas. empanadas. Let's try it. And I think this is a sauce that goes with the. Probably the empanadas, but I guess you can use it for either one. Okay. All right, let's try it. It's hot today. We're hitting the 90s. Is it 90? Yes. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see how this is. I heard this is so delicious. 
Mmm. That is so delicious. Oh my gosh, you have to try it. I love it. it has so much flavor and that pork, it's nice. It's like a pulled pork. It's so nice and juicy, not dry at all. So delicious. Got some pulled pork here. Bell peppers. And it opens some type of tea. What would you give this? This pulled pork. It's called the yeah. moho, moho, moho pork. pork. Yeah. I would give it a four out of five. It's just so good. I would say it's one of my top favorite foods here at Universal, so you have to try it. Yeah. And you might be giving it a five out of five. I know. It's very good. I would say if you're on the lower lot, go to Jurassic Cafe. This is probably the best best place to eat. Mm -hmm. Upper lot, I think everyone agrees that hands down, it's got to be three broomsticks. That place, it's just really good. So I would give this four out of five, four and a half almost, but yeah, do four. Yeah. So I hope you try this. It's really delicious. It's the beef empanada. Oh, that's flaky. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that's juicy. Ooh, look at that beef empanada. I'm gonna put a little bit of the green sauce. Slather it right there. Mm. So juicy, hot, tender. Empanadas are so flavorful. Like Justin said, very juicy but it has the perfect balance of the flakiness and lightness of the shell. It's delicious. And with this green sauce, oh my goodness. You have to try this. It's so good. So delicious. I would say five out of five. Good combo. Mm -hmm. One's pork, one's beef. One's more of a plate, one's an appetizer. You know what would be really good? Just take the normal pork, take a little of the green sauce, just mix it. Mm. I would definitely say use the tapatio if you can handle the spice. Use the tapatio with the mojo pork. It adds like a tangy spice flavor to it. It's not too overwhelming. It just brings out the flavor. It's so delicious. I love it. You have to try it. Mmm, tapatio. Mm-hmm. I like to enjoy the music. You can hear the Jurassic Park music. I got my dinosaur ready for Jurassic Park. Yoshi! Yoshi Kazusa! You know, some days it can be really, really warm outside, so make sure you drink enough water, stay hydrated. We always bring our own bottle in. There's uh, refill stations around the park, but whenever you go to a restaurant, you can always just ask for water. They can give you some water. And then if you have extras, just pour it back into your bottle. But it's ice water. Stay hydrated. Oh, Steven. <laughs> we're gonna finish our food and we'll meet you back at the park. Next, we're gonna go on Jurassic World ride. Maybe the Revenge of the Mummy. And we're gonna try some food at three, three broomsticks. broomsticks. See you guys later. Well, you can't control the is it's a wild animal. Dinosaur. A vast ocean was home to an explosion of life.
have yourself on the cameras ready, you can join us right here to get a picture. This is the frozen butter beer. It's so delicious. It's one of our go-to drinks that we order at Three Broomsticks every time we come to Universal Studios. It's really nice and refreshing, especially on a really hot day like today. It has like this cream soda butterscotch flavor and it has this really sweet frothy topping. It's so delicious and so satisfying. The texture is like a frozen frappuccino but I would say more like an icy. It's so delicious. I love it. I give it a five out of five. It's so delicious, it's a must try. We also got the sticky toffee pudding. This is also really delicious. I love how they put a cold ice cream on top and the toffee pudding is warm. And I love that when you cut into it, it does have a toffee melted caramel in the middle so it's really fun to work towards the middle just to get that taste this is so good i give this one a five out of five i love the sticky toffee pudding yoshi yum 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 we also got the butterbeer potted cream comes in this little cute jar Kind of a little hard to open, but on the top it has like a whipped cream type of thing and then like a syrup. Oh my goodness, look at that dripping, kind of like honey. It kind of reminds me of a denser creme brulee without the brulee. Oh, it's really sweet. It's good, but it's really sweet. I think it's too sweet for me. I'd probably give this a three and a half out of five. I definitely think it's worth trying, especially if you're a sweets person.
that stuff. Oh. Uh, color of these walls. That's the actual color of these walls. All of this is projected. All right, guys, we're heading back to the parking lot. Just want to let you know about the parking. Um, if you do want the preferred parking, it's $50, which is closer to the entrance of the Universal Park. Um, but if you don't mind walking the city walk, $30. However, if you have a disability placard, you can still park closer and pay the $30. But I would double check and see if you can get it for free. All right, we had a pretty great day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.